Today you're watching part 3 of spectacle frame materials. We have the last two frame materials to cover today. Um, then we have completed all the uh, plastic frame materials. So uh, let's start with this particular one over here. Okay, so if I look at this frame here, immediately we look at the structure of it, the way it looks and um, the features of the frame, looking at the hinges, it tells me this is nylon. Alright, so nylon, um, they, uh, it comes with, uh, sometimes comes with the hinges made of uh, nylon as well, like this particular one over there, so you can see here uh, the hinges, right? Um, poor appearance, uh, dull, does not have any brilliance in, uh, of high quality uh, plastics like the polymide, acid, or an op optal. Okay, um, a uh, non attractive as carbon fiber. Um, they limited in production. Um, sunglasses, uh, like sun, sunglasses, like the Ray Ban. Um, you'll find some Ray Ban sunglasses uh, also with the plastic features and those nylon. And uh, safety eye as well. But like this particular one, you can see how it's structured. It's got the side shields, so it's for safety purposes. And uh, yeah, so and they uh, are usually made of nylon. Okay, in terms of uh, adjusting and prop and lens uh, properties, the lens fitting. Uh, okay, these are difficult to adjust um, because they are very strong and flexible, but um, to, for protective eyewear and sunglasses. Okay, these are basically worn on uh, very short periods uh, of time, so it's often not uh, adjusted. So extremely, uh, it seems difficult to adjust if you do attempt to adjust it and to fit lenses into these type of frames because uh, the, the, uh, you, uh, it's if, uh, even to get a proper fit it's, uh, on the on on patient, it's, it's not easy. Okay, so they need to be heated very strongly in order to have some form of shape change. Okay. The frame must be held in the required position, okay, while it's cooling, so it can stay in that shape, in that, uh, to take on the new shape. Okay, so, some burning time to you guys. Um, and uh, with time, and uh, they just revert to the old shape again, so, um, it's not really a good uh, material to have if it's something that you want to wear every day. Okay. Um, in terms of glazing, okay, they got to be heat glazed and frames need to be heated strongly. Um, it, uh, and lenses to be fitted on size. Large lenses could result in breakage of the frame or the lenses. Okay, as you cannot string or stretch an iron frame. Um, yeah, so just to show you some other nylons before we go to the next one. Okay, this also have plastic hinges here. Okay, and this is a sun glass here. Okay, also plastic hinges. Right. 
Okay, so that concludes uh, nylon. And we are coming now to the last, last material. And this is... Okay, so it's these in front over here. <coughs> uh, if I look at this one here in particular, um, Alright, you can see it's fairly old frame, good shine style to it. Alright. Um, yeah, if I look at the detail of this frame, um, it will tell it, it tells me uh, that this is optal. Um, so, what about it? Um, gives me the fact that it's optal. Um, so, if you look at the characteristics of optal, uh, they are thermoplastic, elastic material. They can be shaped after heating, but retain its original shape uh, uh, of the original shape. Uh, has it has no plasticizers, uh, that, so it can uh, have a long, very long lifespan, and um, also uh, retains color and shine, as you can see in this particular one. And even look at this, this uh, very old frame, but look how beautiful it shines. Um, couldn't say it's an old frame. Uh, beautiful, eh? Um, so, the main recognition uh, of Optal, you're looking at it as no, uh, if you look at the temple, for example, you'll see what's missing. There's no reinforced full length wire, so it means no pouring. Um, the other thing in, in, on, inside of the temple, the description, you will see there's a logo, uh, the Optal logo, and below it, it tells you actually that uh, that it's Optal. Um, so it makes it even easier for the lab technician or, or the suspension optician uh, um, to know what frame they're working with, uh, so they know how to deal with that particular frame. Um, and also, if you look at, it, look at the temple, you see it just has a small piece of metal there. Alright, just a small little metal, and that's called uh, what we call the LMC, it's a light coated metal. Okay, its main function is it, to attach itself to a hinge uh, on the temple itself uh, in order to be fitted to the frame front um, to operate the way it should um, and yeah so that's the only metal you'll find in the in the temple so no coding right um, you'll find they come they are available in a variety of colors and styles and they have a very high um, and an attractive luster um, and they're more resistant to to uh, to body acid so you can give this to people uh, that have sensitive skin, um, so which makes it hypoallergenic as well. Okay, and if you feel the weight of, of Optal, uh, it's lighting weight, 30% uh, lighter than your traditional acetates, they uh, create comfort um, eyewear, very comfortable to wear, um, and Yeah, and uh, you'll find that you'll get some of them where they're quite fashionable as well. Um, okay, so in terms of its uh, adjustment and properties, um, they require a considerable amount of heat. Heat it until it's very soft before adjusting. If you try to adjust it without heating, they will break. Okay, and uh, heat the frame. And until soft before inserting lenses as well, um, because underheating uh, can may result in the frame breaking. Right, so you should be also be carefully controlled you know, with these type of frames. Uh, so you only warm up the area which requires adjustment. So if you're doing the temple curl, only do uh, apply heat on that area. If it 
um, come into contact with with an, another part of the frame which already been adjusted, uh, that may result in that part, uh, that part which has already been adjusted going back to the original um, shape because of the memory Optal has. So be careful when you apply heat, uh, only do the area which requires adjusting. Okay, and uh, in terms of of glazing, uh, heat glaze only, um, as you cannot uh, insert lenses or um, do anything if uh, while the heat is in the cold state, being as is being quite critical. So you're looking at uh, definite breakage. Um, if you don't apply any heat. Lenses, in terms of edging, uh, needs to be on the size. Um, optical can stretch um, to accommodate slightly larger lenses, but care must be taken as they can um, break at, at the later stage. Um, so the best thing to do first time do it right do it on size right so that basically concludes optal um, and our frame materials I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and I hope you learned something today uh, in, um, to make things easier for you in terms of handling your uh, frames and then knowing how to go about working with your frames um, so knowing your materials will will cost you um, uh, nothing in the end of the day um, it will save you a lot of money so I hope you enjoyed watching and thank you for watching and look out for more videos to be uploaded on my channel um, don't forget to subscribe bye for now